Hours after the results of Egypt's first election were announced, angry demonstrators took to the street to protest Ahmed Shafiq's presence on the runoff ballot. Al Jazeera has more. Protesters ransacked Shafiq's campaign headquarters, setting fire to the building's garage. A sign that some in Egypt have lost faith in what they describe as a farcical democratic process. On June 16th and 17th, Egypt will conduct runoff elections between the two remaining candidates, Mohamed Morsi for the Muslim Brotherhood and Shafiq, whose service as commander of the Egyptian Air Force brands him as a remnant of the old order. CNN's Ben Weedman says it's not what democratic activists were hoping for. But a choice between the conservative Brotherhood and a remake of the Mubarak regime is no choice at all for those who struggled for years for real change. Shavik's strength in the elections come from his military background. Voters view him as a bulwark of stability against the chaotic unrest that has defined Egyptian politics since Hosni Mubarak's overthrow. Here's the BBC. The only person to benefit from that is, is going to be Ahmed Shafiq himself. He is the law and order candidate, so in, in a kind of cynical way, the more trouble there is, the more he benefits. But a question of eligibility could render Shafiq's campaign moot. The Egyptian parliament has passed a bill pending a court review, which would make former regime members like Shafiq ineligible to seek office. A decision on the bill's legitimacy is expected five days before the runoff election. If, the, if they uphold the ruling that uh, Hamid Shafiq's candidacy is unconstitutional, then it could be that the whole election will have to be run again. Egypt remains under the control of its military, which has pledged to restore Egypt to civilian rule by the end of June. For Newsy, I'm Christina Hartman. Multiple sources, the real story.